yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your life? I do. As you are turned to him, make this profession. I, Caitlin. I, Caitlin. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. Submit myself to you. To be a wife to you. To be a wife to you. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. May I have the uh, bride's ring, please? Thank you. A ring is a very precious thing, a token of your faith and love. This ring is made from precious metal. It is a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God, a love that never fails, never presents itself haughtily, nor is it puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God causes his power to move in your lives. Wear these rings as a continuing reminder of your faith, a continuing reminder of the confession of faith you have made to each other and to God. The word of God says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye should be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, Ephesians 6 and 16. If anyone could break up this union, it would be Satan. So give him no place. Give him no place. This is forever. Took this ring, and place it on her finger, and say this. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. I thee wed. It is a token. It is a token of my love. Of my love for you. For you. And a token. And a token of my faith. Of my faith that I release now. That I release now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May I have the groom's ring? A ring can mean two different things. It can be a never-ending sign of love, or it can be a shadow. I charge you to remember this always. This woman stands by your side, not under your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. You have spiritual responsibility. I want you to wear this ring and remember that she is your helpmate. This ring must never be a shackle of dominance but always a reminder of faith and love. Caitlin, I want you to place this ring on his finger with these things in mind. There is no place in the word of God that gives people the right to dominate one another. Your vows have stated that you submit to one another in the responsibilities of this life, expecting God and his power to always make the difference. So place this ring on his finger and as you do, say this to him. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. I give it to you. I give it to you as a token of my faith. As a token of my faith. I believe. I believe with all my heart. With all my heart that this is forever. That this is forever. It represents my love. It represents my love and my faith. And my faith in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to join right hands, please. As a representative of Jesus Christ, before Almighty God, and in the name of the Father, of His Son Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. Now I'm going to pronounce a blessing over you. Galatians 3, 13 and 14 says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we may be heirs of the promise of the Spirit. 1 Peter 3 and 7 says a man and his wife are heirs together of the grace of life. I'm going to read, read your blessing, your inheritance, your inheritance 
So listen carefully. According to Deuteronomy 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you if you are, if you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and when thou and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. Joel, I know you've been waiting for this time. You may not kiss your rock. <laughs> and now presenting to you, Mr. and Mrs. Joel and Caitlin Betterby. <laughs> 